According to Pro Football Network's Tony Pauline, indications are the Chicago Bears will clean the house when the NFL's regular season concludes. I came across this article and wanted to bring Zach in and kind of talk about the future and the direction of the Chicago Bears. Zach, how are you? As good as any Bear fan can be right now, I guess. Zach, how insane is it to think about the fact that the last time the Chicago Bears won a football game is when we were in Carolina? Bridgewater on first down. Yeah! It's picked off! Oh my gosh. How, how crazy. I thought about that a couple nights ago. You remember us and all the Bears fans celebrating 5-1? and one? Like, It feels like a lifetime ago. I think that was like October, the middle of October. It was before Halloween, I'll tell you that much. It's been a very, very long time for the Bears. Obviously, with the way things are trending now, you know, Zach and I were talking about Matt Nagy needs to go. Chuck Pagano needs to go. Ryan Pace needs to go. Laser, you'd assume, is going to go as well. I think uh, something that we kind of briefly talked about, but we haven't totally addressed the Bears haven't used a franchise tag since 2016. And a lot of people are throwing the idea of them franchise tagging Allen Robinson, but I just don't think that's something they would do. I think they've, you know, if they can't work out a long term deal with Allen Robinson, I'm assuming they're going to just let him walk, as much as that hurts me to say. I believe the last person they did franchise tag was Alshon Jeffrey. So ironically, it was the wide receiver. Uh, but obviously, we got to look towards the draft. You know, you'd assume they're going to probably keep Nick Foles right, maybe to mentor whatever young quarterback they want to draft. Yeah, but I mean, they also could just be like, if an offer comes up or they, they're they offering fulls to a team yeah. to move up in the draft to take somebody, I mean, I don't see why they would turn that down. I mean, fulls obviously isn't working out for the Bears, so yeah. he should be going as well if possible. I think another thing that's really, really interesting is everyone's throwing these ideas, and I've been, you know, I've been a sucker for it too. I've... I've been on the Zach Wilson Bears hype train forever, but we need to see what direction, like what type of, you know, offensive coordinator we're going to have, like what type of head coach we're going to have, what's our scheme, what's our system, because we need to find a quarterback that's going to fit that. I think it's been really apparent that, you know, Matt Nagy, like you said a couple videos again, uh, videos ago, tried to replicate what Andy Reid was doing in Kansas City, and that just hasn't worked. You know, he should have done his own thing. And, but instead, he tried to make, you know, Mitchell Trubisky something that he was not. Uh, so I think that's really important to kind of see what direction we go in terms of like a head coach or a general manager, assuming Pace and uh, Nagy are both fired. Obviously, like, I, I think I've said it before in a video, but like, I want whatever the head coach is, I want them to be hired before the NFL draft. I yeah, want them definitely. To have full ranks of the quarterback that they truly want because. I mean, you look back, the last quarterback that, like, the last coach who got the quarterback he want was Cutler mm -hmm. and Rex Grossman with Lovey. Yeah. I mean, that's insane to think about that's that. wild. Like, those are like the last quarterbacks that the coach truly wanted and that he had a system work working around them. That for is crazy. It to work. Because so Pace brought in Glennon, Pace brought in Trubisky. And it's just mostly been Pace's guys. Now, Zach, I know you're a Big Ten football guy, and one name we have been linked to is Northwestern head coach Pat Fitzgerald. You know, Fitzgerald has had an incredible year with Northwestern. I believe they're going to be playing Ohio State for the Big Ten championship. Is that somebody that interests you? What can you kind of tell me about him? Fitzgerald. Oh, boy. Um, he's gone up against Iowa a lot because Iowa is my team in the Big Ten. Uh -huh. They're in the same division in the Big Ten um he's he's a good coach but i wouldn't say that he would be nfl ready yeah he is more of a defensive minded and like kind of like a knit and grit kind of guy which is like a lot of the big 10 yeah. um schools like in the west i mean you have iowa wisconsin nebraska purdue the and northwestern are the west and they're the ones that are like the nitty-gritty I just don't see it like gelling. I mean, it would be really nice because it'd be the Chicago guy as well. Yeah, that's, see, that's being exactly. Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, he has connections. I, I could be mistaken, but I think he actually is from Illinois as well too. I could be very wrong on that. So, uh, but like you said, Zach, the college to NFL transition is not an easy one. You see a lot of coaches fail at it, and that kind of scares me. So. I'm not really sure. I'm going to trust that the Bears organization knows what they're doing and hopefully brings in somebody that is capable to run our team and, you know, hopefully make some make some of the right decisions. But as of right now, the Bears have not fired Matt Nagy. They have not fired Ryan Pace. You know, people have been calling for Matt Nagy. I don't know what it would take 
for them to fire him mid-season, but I'm assuming he'll be out on, you know, like basically Black Monday, they call it, uh, for the NFL head coaches fall in week 17. So uh, as of right now, that's kind of what's going on. We do have the Houston Texans this week. Zach, I'm not getting my hopes up. I don't know about you. No. <laughs> no, I, I think most of us have kind of learned our lesson. But make sure you guys do check out Zach. He does stream on Twitch. He will be linked down below. Please make sure you guys do drop a like. Please make sure you guys do drop a subscription. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.